everyone! Today I will be showing you how you can tie this unique macrame pattern using alternating snake knots. Let's get started. To begin, I just went ahead and attached three cords to my dowel rod with a lark's head knot. Now I'm going to work with the two ropes hanging down here on the left side. Of this pairing, I'm going to take the side on the right and I'm going to kind of twist it upwards to form a loop. Then I'm going to take this cord on the left that hangs straight down and I'm going to pull it through the loop. Then taking that same cord that we just pulled through the loop, I'm going to take it over the right cord all the way around and then I'm going to pull it back through that loop. Then I'm going to carefully tighten each knot up. Just like that. Now I'm going to repeat these same steps one more time with this group of two. So again, the cord on the right side curls upwards to form a loop. Then the cord hanging straight down on the left gets pulled through the loop. Then I'm going to take that cord hanging straight down, send it over my right cord, twist it all the way around, and then pull it back through the loop. Then I just gently tighten up my cords to form the knot. Just like that. And that is two snake knots tied in a row. I'm going to repeat the same process on both these other two sections. Now we're going to move down and work on tying two alternating snake knots. So I'm going to leave off the cord here on the far left and take my next two cords. And then it's simply the same process over again. So that cord on the right twists upwards to form my loop. Then the cord on the left side gets pulled through the loop. I'm going to twist it all the way around to pull it back through the loop. And then I'm going to take my cords and just start adjusting them until everything sits where I would like. And then I can tie a second knot. tighten this up I always like to pull the cord here that's kind of hanging down on the right side first this just helps form the knot a little bit better and then you can adjust that other cord as well to finish tightening it up then I move on to my next two cords and repeat the exact same process your next row you can either go back and make three knots or you can continue going inwards and just end it with one knot here in the center.
And there we go. This is how you can tie alternating snake knots. It is a very unique and fun macrame knot that I hope you guys incorporate into your next project. Alternatively to making two snake knots in a row, you can make more or even just do one knot. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more, then please check out my online macrame classes. You will learn many tips, tricks, knots, and even full projects in my class. I hope to see you all there. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.